Hey everybody, it's Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com and I want to show you an app that I reviewed over on GottaBeMobile.com called Cloud Outliner. It's an app that works on the iPad and iOS devices like the iPhone, iPod Touch, and does some simple outlining and list making. Um, but now they've ported it over to the Mac and so I thought I'd give, give you a look at it over here. Uh, as you can see, it over here on the left hand side it gives you your lists or your outlines and then on the right side it shows the content of those lists now this basic tips is the one that comes with uh, the app so that you can see how to use it it works sort of like functions sort of like as a uh, tutorial to create a new outline you just simply hit the plus button down there in the corner and give it a name and then over here now you begin and it gives you an empty spot for you to create a new outline so we're gonna have a new outline we're gonna um, uh, list things on my desk that's what we'll call this so I've got some pens hit return uh, my iPhone Galaxy S3 my iPad my Mac uh, my Bible some paper and my elite sliver. Okay. Now let's say I'm looking at this and I say, you know what? I want to talk about what kind of papers I've got. And to do that, To do that, I just simply move it to the right using the edit tool. I've got um, <clears throat> documents. All right, now let's say I want to add, I've got what kind of receipts. So now this time I can hit command and the arrow button. And I've got lunch. And maybe I think, oh, I need to add a new kind of paper. I have some. handouts. What kind of handouts? You get the idea. Now notice that each one of these items now has a checkbox. So let's say I'm going through here and I decide, you know, I need to clean off my desk and once I'm done cleaning it off I'll hit the check mark. It's kind of a ridiculous example. I don't know why you'd make a list like this. <laughs> to clean your desk you just do it. But it gives you an idea of what you can do. Now if you want, go up here to the view and you can hide the checkbox. You can also hide the outlines. That's that column over there. Let's go ahead and bring that back. Notice that this little button down here does the same thing. Now, let's say I'm over here and I'm looking at uh, uh, this article outline, which is sort of an outline for my review of the iOS version. And I say, you know what, I need to figure out what was on my uh, my desk, so where's my I, I, there it is, it's on my new outline okay so I need to change this one items on desk so there you can search for things, add, subtract um, click that to get rid of it say so, alright, you know what I'm done with this article so I'll hit the minus button to delete it now one other tool I want to show you is this use iCloud function. Um, since I'm doing a screen capture, I won't show you the uh, iOS app. But what I can do is, once I open my, my iPad, these um, th this new outline that I've created, items on my desk, will then show up on my iPad. It takes a minute. It's not incredibly speedy, but it does work. Also, if I want, I can sync it with Evernote. So let's do that. Now you see all three of these are syncing with Evernote. So let's bring up Evernote. And in my all notebooks, you've got this basic tips, the sample outline. There we go, items on my desk. See, that just showed up. My only problem with this app is uh, probably the cost of it. You say, what's five bucks or seven bucks? Well, if you're a really heavy outliner 
and really like the interface and the simplicity of it, that's probably not that cheap. Uh, for me, this doing this feat, this app that does just one simple thing, uh, for me, you know, I just think on, on the iPad it ought to be like 99 cents to two dollars at the most. On the uh, the Mac, you know, it, it I kind of have a five dollar limit on real simple tools like this. Uh, and so at five dollars, you know, I know that's only two dollars less, but it's kind of an emotional thing to be honest with you. And so it feels a little expensive, and especially when you realize you open up Evernote, you know, you can create outlines in Evernote. Article, newspaper, right? See, you can even add check boxes here. So notice I can make check boxes. So, so it kind of feels like, you know, why do I need a new app to do what Evernote already does? Now, obviously, Evernote has a lot more content. Maybe you just want to keep your notes and your things separate. Maybe you like to speak uh, public, do public speaking, and you want a good outline app, and that's kind of cool because, uh, you know, you could even, let's see here, show check boxes and, you know, say while you've got your iPad, you know, as you said, you're going through your list of things that you're supposed to talk about, tap on it with your finger, you know, on your iPad, so that it kind of gives you the progress of your your speech that that might work for you um, I'm just not sold and so uh, I really can't recommend it because I'm not a heavy list maker or outline maker but uh, still it's despite that fact what it does do it does well so uh, if you're one of those who's really heavily into outlining and list making then this might be just for you uh, for all others get Evernote but it's been Cloud Outliner is the name of the app, and it's available on the Mac App Store for $6.99. And this has been Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com. Thank you for watching.